gentlemen, it's a bird! It's a plane! No! It's Super Josh! An insignificant boy. A.K.A. Josh Nichols and John Oderman. Insignificant boy. <laughs> well, I- well, I'm just going to sit here and not talk. You can just talk for all, both, of, both of us. For well, insignificant I- boy I- and Wonder Josh or whatever the hell you called yourself yeah, you, there. You didn't even listen to me. So see, look how insignificant you think I am. That you don't even listen to what I have to say. I make you feel insignificant. That's true. Uh, no, That's I my power. To... That's why I'm an ins- ins- insignificant boy. I make everyone feel insignificant. People always used to say, like, oh, thank you, Captain Obvious. And I was like, you're welcome. Be sure to tell insignificant boy. Like, you know, I'd throw a little yeah. snark back at them, you know? Like, you know, you know, one of those things, like, uh, no crap, Sherlock. Snark you know? is kind of your Being superpower. A deeper Watson, you know? Like, that was a good Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That. Uh, or this is an A and B conversation. I'd be like, well, this is an A and B conversation, so see your way out of it before D and E F you up, G. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I'm, I would always try yeah. to one up people. So yeah. that's where that came from. Anyway, so uh, super snark is your superpower. Snark is my superpower. Yeah, you think I am you think well snarky. on your feet. Yeah, <laughs> I, you know, I don't want people to get confused. We're not talking about superheroes. That's that's not the the game today. The game today is superpowers and that's a totally different thing yeah because like i like certain superheroes they're super but not really like batman he doesn't really have a super well he doesn't have a superpower he's a rich guy with gadgets rich you know it's like anybody could be a superhero if you're in the top one percent is that right you have billions of dollars yeah. yeah i mean but but some superheroes have actual uh, ability superman you know he has strength he can fly you know he has a weakness etc so my question for the day is what is the best superhero power and what is the worst superpower see and you're gonna you're i I already know how this is gonna go you're gonna authoritatively say that there's a correct answer to this question and so are you i'm gonna say i i am but the problem is is i am right and you're wrong well but but see my superpower is to actually be right and your superpower is you know something completely different and you're not actually right though so so that's what it is Uh, john i'm just gonna say invisibility so that's what i'm saying is the best superpower and i know yours tell the audience super speed super speed so super and we're we're not talking just like basic super speed we're like flash super speed flash super speed okay okay so i i want to run through it this way i just uh, okay so here's the steps one, I'm going to do this, and then you can do it as well. Give me the parameters of your superpower. Now, keep in mind that we can't be too specific. I mean, this isn't like where you wish for more wishes with a genie. Like, you can't be like, uh-huh. oh, here's the itemized list of things that, you know, might be exceptions that are covered yeah, under okay. my superpower. Okay, gotcha. Yep. So, in general, what's your superpower like? And then I kind of want to test case it. Like, I want you to try to challenge mine mm-hmm. to show me why it is or is not good. Okay. okay, so would you like to go first? Uh, you can go first. Okay. Well, so invisibility. I'm going to say this as a caveat first okay. because I don't want you to use it against me. Okay. I think that the superpower somebody chooses as their favorite, I hope it doesn't say a lot about them, but it kind of does because <laughs> like with invisibility, you really – there's no reason to be invisible except to do something that you would do totally amoral. Normally. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a it, totally yeah. amoral thing. But I still want it. Yeah, but I, I want to be able to, you know, get money for free or steal the cookie out of the cookie jar or you know, oh look, I'm gonna stare at this pretty girl, you know, yeah, in a setting yeah. as a bachelor. You know, it, where, where sh- maybe she does it for a living. So the money I steal, I can get in singles and throw okay. it at her. All right. And, and, and just have no one. Yeah, yeah. yeah, nobody would know. Nobody okay. would know. You know. I wouldn't be on the security cameras in case I want to be elected in the future. So in this in, pull that tape. is this invisibility, does it uh, carry over to items that you pick up? Well, okay, here's the thing. I don't I don't know that. My, my general... Uh, my general kind of scope of what this invi- invisibility entails is that you can come or go being invisible, meaning you can go into invisibility or go out of it. Okay. And it doesn't have anything to do with your clothes or something. So I think that basically anything that you're on holding. your person yeah, okay. would be invisible. And, and and I don't think necessarily objects. So if there is a cup of coffee sitting on the table and I pick it up, it wouldn't go invisible. 
but but like clothes that I'm wearing or something because they're part of me would go invisible. And I know that's a weird kind of a thing. Well, I think I think what you're you're describing. Well, I think what what you would probably support and endorse here is like an invisibility field. Um. I I guess so. I just I just because what what you're talking about like getting away with like robbing a bank or something like that. Yeah, you, you're gonna want like an invisibility field that you can maybe like project, like the Invisible Woman. Um, I don't I don't know. I don't I don't know enough okay. about invisibility. I okay. just want to just right. go invisible. Okay. I think it has to be biological. I don't okay. want technology. All right. All right. I, don't, I don't want somebody to be able to hack my invisibility shield or something, and okay. you know something yeah. like that. So in general. That, that's my stance. I can go invisible. I can become visible again. I'm not going to get in the specifics. I'm just going to say, okay, if I'm wearing clothes, they're invisible because I don't want to get a sunburn. Yeah, you gotcha. know, yeah, on parts that I don't want. And do you even get a sunburn if you're, if you're invisible? invisible? I don't know. No, I, don't I would get into. I that. would think that you would refract the light through you. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Okay, so those are my basic. And again, yeah. not, not too specific. What, what's yours for the speed? The the. Super speed of the flash. I don't. I don't. I don't know yeah, if I need. Just, you get I don't need, fast. Yeah. I don't. Well, see, but th- that's the thing about this, like explanation about super speed is the reason super speed is the correct answer, is you get all those other ones. You get invisibility because you could vibrate at such a speed that nobody could see you. You get super strength because uh, the faster you move, the the greater mass you have. So the harder your punches are going to be. Um, in a lot of Flash stories, there's time travel involved. You don't have to fly because you're moving every it's places so fast that you wouldn't have to. Um, I mean, there's just I mean, those are probably the top ones. But um, t- See, to me, I, like, I kind of feel and 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 maybe I'm wrong. I kind of feel like yours is the wish for more wishes. It's not. But but hold on, hear me out. Hear me out. Okay. Because here's the thing. Like, you're saying, well, you know, you, you don't need to be able to fly because you can run there. Well, like, what about you, you want to go to Europe? Do you do you run on the water? Absolutely. You're, so you're now, going fast now enough. You can, now you can run on water. You're going fast and, enough that it, yeah. you won't sink. <laughs> and, and, but, but I just think it it, it, it has it ha, it has all these other things that I don't think necessarily are true. Like, I don't think it's actually invisibility. I don't see how the being able to travel quickly is going to be time travel. Like for me, that's a that's a leap into that oh, wish sure. for more wishes. Sure, but that's why I prefaced it with this is the Flash like super speed. Well, but but see, just one superhero. Like I mean, I I feel like that's and that's how he utilizes his super speed, Josh. I just I think that's not one superpower. I think I think moving fast would be the superpower. Period. You're able to get from point A to point B quickly. But there are all that's teleportation. If you're just worried about A, a to B, I guess. See, I mean, there are there are a number. I think of like side effects that you could get from your superpowers. Not even side effects. Side side benefits, and the. The appearance of invisibility and the uh, appearance of super strength, I think, would be it's not. It's not even really super strength because you wouldn't be able to like lift large objects. You'd just be able to punch really hard. Okay, and I I think that's okay because you're moving fast. I think time travel is a leap. I I don't I don't think that's something that even in the hypothetical world you can prove. Because I could say, oh, well, going invisible. I mean, you're actually on a different plane you know, of I, existence, and so you're. I, I, you're Einstein really would disagree. Einstein would disagree. Well, Einstein isn't with us, <laughs> literally, and literally, <laughs> <laughs> literally and literally. <laughs> yeah, literally squared. <laughs> he is not with us. I, I just, I just think it's, I think it's cheating a little bit by well, saying. saying all of these things are encompassing. Because again, I could say... Is it cheating or is it just being no, intelligent it's, it's, with my choice? No, no, no. Because like invisibility, again, okay. you, you know, a lot of people think, well, you know, there are alternate universes, you know, on this plane of existence. And, and maybe that's what time travel is, is just a different okay. reality. 
Well, I could say, well, when I go invisible, it's actually me existing on the other plane, but not in this plane. And so, really, I'm traveling. I feel like that's a. T- I feel like that's a ter- terrible stance to argue here because <laughs> because you never once said that. Well, no, no. I laid this out like saying, hey, I know these are the these are the side benefits of super speed. No, no, no. But but that's what I'm saying is me coming up with that kind of scenario that seems a little perhaps outlandish or may not be provable or kind of a, an extra little oom yeah, from the okay. superpower is, is similar to saying, well, fast travel, yeah, you can time travel, period. Uh, no, I, I didn't say period. I'm saying that that might be, I mean, there are some, <laughs> there are some people that would make the argument that if you travel at a fast enough speed, time travel is possible. One of them would be Albert Einstein. Well, but but you're also kind of adding into that s- some other things. Like, do you do you age, or is there wear and tear on your body? Oh, well, okay. So you're talking about like the metabolism necessary to be able to handle yeah. super speed. I, I mean, or I do. You, let's say I want to travel back to twenty thousand BC. Is it that I can travel back a long period of time, or I can travel back fifteen seconds? Because I don't know that you'd be able to do it. I don't, I don't know. There's, there's a lot of caveats. Like, literally, I was trying to go simple and saying, I can appear or disappear See, but will, Josh. Period. Josh, I think that's more of a statement of your mind <laughs> than of what I'm I, trying I, to do I, here. I, I, I don't I don't. Going so. simple. I, I don't think so. I, I don't think so. You, you have to. You have to. Uh, the goal <laughs> of this. I, I want to dig deeper, though. Into your selection of invisibility. Okay. And what you would it. do with that. Okay, so I, here's what I want you to do. Okay, okay. let's use mine because I okay. think yours is unwieldy. <laughs> I, I just think it's not reasonable. Well, let's just look at invisibility. That, and that's why it's the correct second. choice. It's not the correct choice. Okay, anyway. Okay, I, I'll give you an example of what I want you to try to do with invisibility because I, I kind of want to workshop this because maybe I am wrong and I keep an open mind and I don't just assume that I'm right because I'm an insignificant boy by night. Um, there was a, a small child in a, in, a, in a play I was doing and he asked me the question, what's the best superpower? And I said, invisibility. And he said, no, it's the ability to clone yourself. And I said, what? So you're like the multiple man. Yeah, yeah okay. I was like, nay. Yeah, yeah. And then every time I gave him a scenario, he would be like, whoa, no, it's, it's different. So he, I'd be like, well, you know, if you're the most intelligent person on the planet, the person's cloned, you clone yourself, all of a sudden you have competition. He's like, well, no, 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 you'd share a mind. And then I'm like, well, but, you know, like, would you have to have clothes and food for all these clones? Well, no, no, I mean, those would clone too. And, like, he kept adding caveats. And for so, like, me... So, and all these clones are your slaves then? I, I guess so. And I kind of came up with so these So they can't rebuttals. go live their own lives. Yeah, I, I came up with rebuttals for each one of so his So this statements. kid was a giant fascist. <laughs> he just wanted to have his own country of clones yeah, that he could uh, just... Uh, apparently. But he kept, I kept coming up with these, you know, rebuttals to the things he said. Like, you know, if, if he said, oh boy, uh, I would be able to X, Y, or Z. I'd be like, well, but that's going to cause problems here and there. Yeah. And, and, and he was kind of, you know, confused and perplexed that there, there was something wrong with his ideal superpower. So I want to see if there's something wrong with my ideal superpower. Yeah. Try, try, to, try now, to see if there's a scenario where invisibility is bad. Is there a scenario well, you can think of? Well, <laughs> I think any of the reasonings uh, behind wanting invisibility uh, and raises some, some legitimate questions. Well, okay. um, but, we, but, but we can go over that in a, in a couple minutes. But well, And let me caveat this. I said superpower. I didn't say superhero or super Oh, ab- absolutely. It's just a yeah, power. Yeah, and yeah. you can't... You can't yeah. I'm just saying, do you see... Where let, let's even say I'm a super villain. Doesn't matter if I'm a good or bad. I, I don't see a lot of drawbacks to the invisibility yeah, I, I power. Don't think there I, are I don't. Either. I don't. See, but like I see drawbacks with the fast speed. I can see okay. that having wear and tear in your joints. Yeah, m- metabolism and yeah. Well, okay. Invisibility. Um, I don't yeah. see any problem. I might be slovenly, but I could exercise while being invisible. Sure. But if I want to just sit there, I could. Absolutely. Versus the the super speed, I mean, kind of, kind of. Well, but to have super speed, you would, I, I and I, I guess you're not as familiar with the character as I thought you would be. But the Flash, like, I yeah. know nothing about it. Yeah, see, and like that's that's a situation where um, he does have like some some 
faster healing abilities. Well, but the thing is, is all those extras that yeah. you say, like yeah. mm, the Flash. I mean, the tenants of the Flash. It's, and it's, that, it's tied that, directly to the super cannon, speed. You know, it's tied directly to super speed. Because to be able to have that super speed, he has to have the super metabolism. I, I and with know, the metabolism, you have, you have to be able to, like, you know, your, your body's going to be able to heal faster yeah, than the, yes, the average yes. human being. But even you saying, like, time travel, well, that's something that they've explored in The Flash. Yeah. They were they were running out of episodes, probably, or running out of content for the comic books. Yeah, and so yeah. they expand upon what the superpower can do. Sure. And and so I think sure. that's an expanding. Well, I mean, I'm just ex- original... I'm just exploring my superpower. No, no, no. yes. T- take the first issue of the Flash or the first. Josh, I'm just I'm just exploring it. Anything. You don't you don't believe in exploring who you are as a person, John? You're do, you're, you support shallowness. Do you believe exploring yourself as a person, John? I mean, you're married, so do you really believe? <laughs> But you have that opportunity. No, that's why I got married because <laughs> okay. I was done exploring myself. You're done exploring. Yes. Yeah, I know everything about myself, and that's it. Get me hitched. Now, it's, now somebody else needs to learn learn about my faults. Okay, uh, let's take super speed and super uh, not super invisibility. It's better than regular invisibility. Super invisibility yeah. is like to the nth degree better. If you take invisibility and fast speed off the table, is what's your second choice? Shape shifting. Shape shifting. Okay. Yeah. Why is that? I I don't know. I just think it would be really cool to be a shapeshifter. Like to be able and, to turn and, into whatever you wanted to turn into. You mean you could turn into an item? You could turn into a person? If it's an item, is it big or small? Like can I turn into like you be, being able to like adjust your mass? I you okay. know, I um that, that's I, I mean I, I think you need that if you're going to go that far, you need to be able to like have a limitation on it. Okay. Okay. Um I I'm think gonna become a planet. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I don't think that's. I, I don't think that's legit. Because yeah, I, I just where yeah, where does yeah, that exactly. mass come from? Where does it go? Yeah. No. I mean, if 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 so, if you're you, taking something roughly the same yeah, mass. Yeah, shifting, yeah. And would it be mainly human, or you would be an inanimate object as well? No, I, I think you could turn into animals. You could turn into uh, people, other people. So it'd yeah. be living objects. I wouldn't turn into an entertainment center. Well, I mean, you could you could maybe take the shape of something, but I think you would still maybe kind of look like a... So I'd be like, is that entertainment center breathing? Yeah. yeah <laughs> okay. I mean, you still got to breathe, I would think. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, you know. okay, okay. So you still got to be a living person. You know, John, I've, I've come to a revelation. Okay. You are a superhero. Okay. And I am a supervillain. Oh. <laughs> because in your instance, the, the speed and the shape yeah. shifting, yeah. those are things that could be used for good. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to know what my what's secondary your second is? one? Yeah, what's your secondary? Okay, first I, I bet it's like mind control or something. Mind control. <laughs> <laughs> mind control. A hundred and ten percent. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I mean, and, and what what do you do with mind control except something negative? The only positive thing you take think, away someone's free will. Uh, well, the only positive things is let's say you had stage fright. Oh, you I could, could take yeah, that yeah, feeling away. Yeah. But, or you could download why? information to someone's brain. That's another oh, thing you could do, maybe. That is, that is yeah, true. Yeah. I could do that. Or could I, could I, what, I would upload to their brain and download from their brain? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Okay, so I yeah. could do either. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's true. But so you're, I, you're I, talking more like like a telepathic ability as opposed to like mind control straight up. No, I want mind control. Oh, okay. I was, right. I was kind of adding it. I was trying to be a little benevolent. No, 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 yeah. No, no, no. I, and I you're, want to You just want to be totally malevolent. Yeah. yeah. I want to manipulate people. Yeah. Wow. Manipulation. Period. <laughs> And again, I I think this shows what kind of a person I am deep down. I, and I, I, I say this, and I, I don't want people to think I am a terrible person, but to, I think everybody has good in them. And I think everybody also has a little bit of bad in them. Yeah. And it's to what extent. Like, for instance, if you know that you would not get caught, you would not be pulled over, would you go 10 miles over the speed limit or 15 miles? Like, are you okay with that? Mm-hmm. If you knew that you're not going to crash into somebody, like if you remove the negativity or any possible repercussions, would you do that? And I think a lot of people would be like, yeah, yeah absolutely. Sure, I'll, yeah, I'll yeah. go five minutes. Yeah. But if you're like, well, if you could get away with it, would you kill somebody? That gets into like a whole other. Yeah, realm, it's a different level. You know? Yeah. And so for me, I kind of feel like to justify. Which for Josh, the answer is yes. Yeah. <laughs> to justify my superpowers, the mind control and the invisibility. I'm going to say that I would use those in a Robin Hood fashion. 
So like I would steal money okay. from people who didn't you know deserve the money or maybe who had stole money as well. Now there may still be a little of, you know, uh, uh, oogling of other people because I'm I'm sure that I would I would take a glance that I might otherwise take, you know. Well, I have a question for you there. So which one's more important to achieving those goals? Your first or your second choice? Um, which one would make it easier? Uh, well, okay. So see, I think that in, I'm still going to go with invisibility first. The The manipulation, the mind control would allow you to achieve your goals and ends faster. Okay. But being invisible, it's kind of like what we've talked about before about how when you're anonymous on the internet, yeah. you do things that you might otherwise do. So I think from a moral standpoint, your morals would more easily become jaded and you'd be okay with things that you're doing because nobody can see you. Josh, I feel like we've already crossed that bridge. I feel like your morals are already jaded. I think we've already cir- <laughs> I think we've already squared that circle. So. Yeah, we've squared that circle. Uh, but no, I, I, I think that being invisible, I mean, you could... You could do things, but nobody would know you were doing it. Versus yeah. mind control, people could witness you doing mind control. Or they could, and so I think, yeah, but mind control, boy, that's... It's tempting. I could maybe control someone's mind to invent invisibility. Well, that's me. what I'm saying. I mean, that's... like, uh, And that's where I, I think that your secondary is better than your, I your first. But then again, I could manipulate your mind... By whispering into your ear and making you think that you're hearing a voice that's not really there, but it's really me, and then I can manipulate you into doing something. That's true. You could this is, if you were invisible. If you were invisible, you could pretend that you were God. This, this is all shady. You just come up to me behind <laughs> behind me in church and be like, John, 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 John. This, is, this is God. Make me an invisibility serum. Oh wait, I'm already invisible. Make me a mind control serum. <laughs> I also want to go fast and be able to time travel at the same time. Because they're the same power, apparently. And then shape shift. And shape shift. Uh, that's uh, yeah. So, but your your superpower seems so noble. And, oh, I mean, so let me ask you this: I mean, uh, do you have? Where is your morality compass? Like, if where does my moral like, compass come well, from? Well, I, no, no, no. I, <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, where does it falter? Uh, for instance, like with invisibility. Okay. So, like. Would you not want that power because you couldn't see any good coming from it? You mean or? if someone if someone presented me with the opportunity to turn invisible? Yeah, would you tomorrow? Would, you, would I take would it? You take Absolutely. It or, okay, so why? What would you do with invisibility? I mean, are there things that would be? And I'm not talking immoral, like you're going to be killing people and you know doing really. Shady see, I think stuff, that's the thing I would do. You would just kill. People. I know. I think I would go like <laughs> I'd like go. I would like go take out people that are like. Not okay. good people. So you, know? so you would be you not would even necessarily take food. them out, but like I, I think I would do what you did, like manipulate people into like <laughs> thinking that, like uh, thinking, you know, I, I, yeah, I, I don't know, yeah. I, I would just I would become head on over to like Iran and talk to those guys and be like, hey guys, you shouldn't do this. I, I would become, like in their ears. That's true. See me, I would I would be I would be Kim Jong Un, like show up and be like. Hey, Kim, Kimmy, you got you to stop this. You you could even do that with U.S. leaders, too. Yeah, <laughs> you, yeah. You, you, everybody. It's a worldwide thing. Yeah. Here's what I would we do. We do have worldwide listeners. We have a heavy listening contingent in North Korea. I apologize, I know, I everyone know, know. that was listening there. So, see, here's the thing, John. I would say that I would be smarter with it, and I would just use it on my significant other and make them <laughs> – make, them, and I would make them – Feel as though. Would you disguise th- your voice? Yeah, Sarah. <laughs> no, I, I, it would be. It would use falsetto. You know, I wanted to make it seem like it's her inner voice. Yep. And it'd be like, Sarah, boy, Josh is always so right. You should really listen to him no more. That sounds like Mickey Mouse. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Mickey Mouse. Oh, oh. Uh, is is that voice impression copyrighted? I don't know. We'll oh. find. We'll find out. <laughs> We'll have to wait to, for this one to air, and then we'll hear from our lawyers, well, uh, like we know, do after many are, episodes. Are there any? Because because you're way more versed in superheroes, yeah, and yeah, than yep. I am. Are there any superpowers that you're like, that's dumb? You know, there's one that I used to think was really really dumb, but it's actually there's been some writers that have taken it, and it's like turned into something that's pretty cool. 
there's a there was an X Men, a New Mutant called Cipher, okay. and his his power was he could speak any language. Okay, I was like, okay, well, that's that's kind of dumb, but okay. then like further um, writers like he he died because you know he has no offensive abilities, <laughs> and uh, um, th- then he came. They brought him back to life, and some of the writers did some really cool stuff with him where like. He was able to read body language. He was able to read fighting styles. He was able to read like binary code. He okay. like talked to computers okay. and stuff. And, and so, so I mean, that was really cool. But kind of a, in terms of like the grand scheme of things and superpowers wise, I, I don't, I, I don't I'm know. Sorry, if John, I, I disagree. If if you're hungry and you're abroad, <laughs> I mean, you can you can literally see. Order but like what you want to me though, want. that's not really a superpower because <laughs> anybody that spends enough time in school and studied foreign language yeah. would be able to you know achieve something similar to that. Well, but I mean, uh, languages. I mean, that's a lot to imagine. If you could easily uh, diffuse or deflect, you know, a, a hostile situation yeah. because of your ability to communicate, and I think a lot of times that kind of uh, you know those. Those debates or those challenges or that, you know, rifts that happen between people are because of a lack of communication. So being able to 100% understand what is being communicated to you, I mean... Yeah, true. More times than not, I've heard the phrase, you're not hearing me. Yeah, yeah. You don't... You don't understand what I'm saying. Being able to understand the... Being able to understand the fairer sex would be a great superpower. Oh, I... I was not disparaging women. I'm sorry. I know that you don't like them. So, <laughs> Way to turn I, that I, around. I, I was talking about humans, John. Oh, not, okay. All right. I got gotcha. you. Ooh, goodness. I, we apologize here on Pop Culture Problems for John's views. There, um, I, I, there is one other one that I think that you would find particularly interesting. Okay. Legion of Superheroes. It's a uh, futuristic like teenage superhero group. Like Not necessarily teenagers, but they're younger. Um, there was one uh, named Matter Eater Lad, and his power was basically <laughs> to name. be able to eat things. Wow, <laughs> that is, I I do that. I li- I literally eat things. So, yeah, that was, that was his thing. He was like he ate things, like like anything, like the yeah. entertainment center. Yeah, that, that, that could that be was, a shapeshifter. That was and, his and thing. He, yeah, he just ate wow. it. I, I hope somebody tunes in at that moment, and they're like. Matter. They ate an entertainment center that was a shapeshifter because he could eat matter? What? <laughs> uh, you, you really have to listen to the whole pop culture problems show. You can't just come in midway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, you should really listen to every episode yes. because you might. Because we've something. referenced things. There's Easter eggs all over this, mother. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Easter eggs are a plenty. Yeah. A plenty. So, um, are you willing to admit now that you were wrong? I, I, I admit. That I am wrong. I thought that you were a better person. I thought you were a superhero, but then it turns out that well, you don't like women. I have a. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have a question. Do, yeah. are, are, is there um, any part of you that would use your powers for good? Well, yeah. I I, I told you that whole Robin Hood scenario. Um, but I would also, uh, you know. I think especially with the mind control and the mind manipulation, I would I would help the world by adjusting your thinking that is clearly wrong about your superpower and the female species and you know uh, the whole thing. So I would change you to be a better person. Oh, so you change me and that would that would be good for the world. I know it would be good for the I world appreciate because that. Yes. I, I we we wouldn't have your hate speech on the on the airwaves. We wouldn't. Anybody tuning them out, John, you're a good person, and you have good morals and values, and the fact that you would use your superpowers for good, first and foremost, you're trying to convince me to use my Yeah, power. yeah, I am. Yeah. I'm trying to convince you to not be... You're like the... You're like my childhood friend who grew up to be a supervillain. Yeah. I like it. And I'm trying to convert you to my way of thinking. Maybe trying to should, reform you. Maybe we should tabletop this. Like, like actually come up with some scenarios, like the game of life. Yeah. But it's actual superhero scenarios and see how we would react to one another. That'd be good. That, that might be a good, actually a good tabletop game. It might be. Yeah. Let's quit the show and make one. Yeah. <laughs> no. We'll do both because we have super abilities to multitask. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for listening to Pop Culture Problems. We'll see you next time.